Welcome to Advent Lutheran Church. This is our first video of worship in this time when we are unable to meet with one another. However, we do know that wherever two or three are gathered, Jesus is present with them, present with you. We hope today's worship experience might draw you closer to the living God made known to us through Jesus Christ in this time of trial. Merciful God, the fountain of living waters, you quench our thirst and wash away our sins. Give us this water always. Bring us to drink from the well that flows with the beauty of your truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Hear now a reading from the Gospel of St. John, the fourth chapter. Jesus came to a Samaritan city called Sychar, near the plot of ground that Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, tired out by his journey, was sitting by the well. It was about noon. A Samaritan woman came to draw water, and Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. His disciples had gone into the city to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, How is it that you, a Jew, ask a drink of me, a woman of Samaria? Jews do not share things in common with Samaritans. Jesus answered her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is that is saying to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you have no bucket, and the well is deep. Where do you get that living water? Are you greater than our ancestor Jacob, who gave us the well, and with his sons and his flocks drank from it? Jesus said to her, Everyone who drinks of this water will be thirsty again. But those who drink of the water that I will give them will never be thirsty. The water that I will give will become in them a spring of water, gushing up to eternal life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water so that I may never be thirsty or have to keep coming here to draw water. Jesus said to her, Go, call your husband and come back. The woman answered him, I have no husband. Jesus said to her, You are right in saying I have no husband, for you have had five husbands, and the one you have now is not your husband. What you have said is true. The woman said to him, Sir, I see that you are a prophet. Our ancestors worshipped on this mountain, but you say that the place where people must worship is in Jerusalem. Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You worship what you do not know, we worship what we know, for salvation is from the Jews. But the hour is coming and is now here when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth, for the Father seeks such as these to worship him. 
God is spirit. And those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. The woman said to him, I know that Messiah is coming, who is called Christ. When he comes, he will proclaim all things to us. Jesus said to her, I am he, the one who is speaking to you. Just then his disciples came. They were astonished that he was speaking with a woman, but no one said, what do you want, or why are you speaking with her? Then the woman, woman left her water jar and went back to the city. She said to the people, come and see a man who told me everything I have ever done. He cannot be the Messiah, can he? They left the city and were on their way to him. Many Samaritans from that city believed in him because of the woman's testimony. He told me everything I have ever done. So when the Samaritans came to him, they asked him to stay with them, and he stayed there two days, and many more believed because of his word. They said to the woman, it is no longer because of what you said that we believe, for we have heard for ourselves, and we know that this is truly the Savior of the world, the Gospel of our Lord.
from our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Social distancing. In a matter of hours, we all heard about it. Now we are all trying to live into it because of our responsibilities, because of our relationships. It won't be easy, but it is what we need to do to flatten the curve, to help fight the spread of coronavirus, a virus that is impacting lives around the world. We actually see social distancing in today's gospel reading. This really is the text that is assigned for this Sunday, part of the Revised Common Lectionary. Jesus meets a woman at the well. She is never named. We only know that she is a Samaritan woman. She is shocked that Jesus would speak to her, much less ask her to draw water for him. For two reasons. Women had no place in public life in those days. Husbands would not even speak to their wives in public. And she was a Samaritan. Samaritans were Jewish, but they were only half Jewish. And so to Jews, Samaritans were outcasts. Division existed between them and Jews, much like we see division today between too many Christian groups, between denominational churches and non-denominational churches. But Jesus sees no need to practice social distancing. Jesus is all about breaking down divisions. But this woman at the well knows all too well about social distancing. She practiced it herself, going to the well at noon. Barbara Brown Taylor explains she was a fallen woman, respectable woman, went to the well in the morning. They gathered there to socialize, to share news. This woman was one they likely talked about. She was not welcome at their social hour. Married so many times, one can only wonder Yet Jesus talks to her longer than anyone else in the gospel. She is the first person that Jesus reveals himself to in John's gospel. She is the first outsider to truly understand who Jesus is, telling others she is the first evangelist. Her testimony brings many to faith. Jesus knows her story. Jesus knows her past, yet he does not pull away from her. He embraces her, meets her where she is. In this encounter, she questions, she challenges Jesus. But when she says, I know that the Messiah is coming, Jesus responds to her, I am he. Her encounter with Jesus led to a relationship that changed everything for her. That relationship was not just for her. That relationship is for us, giving us strength and hope in these trying times. So lean on your relationship with Jesus. Come to Jesus in prayer. In the midst of all the social distancing that we will practice, Jesus knows no boundaries. While we cannot now gather around word and sacrament, Jesus is still with us. The coronavirus is not a boundary for Jesus. In this challenging time, we find new ways to be the church, the body of Christ, not in this building, but in our homes, wherever we find ourselves with and for people that we are close to, people that we will spend more time with, people 
that we can serve in the world that God so loves. We can serve in new and different ways, knowing that Jesus is our Savior because Jesus is the Savior for the whole world. In Jesus' name, amen. you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and grant you peace in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.